Hi everyone, in this video on JMRI's Panel Pro, we're going to be going through how we add our switch addresses from our Digitrack SE8Cs into the signal heads table within Panel Pro so that we can then add the signal heads to a signal mast so that we can then put them onto our layout and actually have our signals operating. So first thing we need to do is we need to add our switch addresses to our signal heads. And to do this, we scroll down to the add bottom, bottom of the screen, click on add, which will bring up our add new signal head window. We'll click on the scroll down button here till we get to SE8C4 aspect and click on that. This then tells the program that we're going to be using the SE8C aspects. We need to create a username and just remember, as mentioned in part two and part three, we need to keep a common naming convention. But what we'll do with this one is we'll just call it test mast, and we'll say it's west, and it's on track one. And then what we'll do is we'll add the fact that it's going to be a um, dwarf signal, so just shorthand DWF. Then we click on create new. Then we need to go down to the drop down box here and select LocoNet because this is the uh, Digitrack system standalone signaling system that we're using. Then in here, we need to add a, a range of numbers. Now, with this one, we're starting off with 833. So the switch address is 833. And then the next one after that will be 834. C click Create New. And then you'll see down the bottom, right down the very bottom here, we have our test mast, west, track one, dwarf, and it's currently showing as dark. Then what we can do is now that we've added this, we can then go in and add it as a signal mast. So what we do first is we click on the test mast, scroll up to copy username, because we want to keep the naming convention the same in the signal heads table and also the signal mask table. Then we click on the signal mask table and we click add, which will bring in the add signal mask window. Then in the username, we just do a right click, click paste, and then that will put the um, test mask west track one dwarf in there. The signalling system that we're using is the same as what's on my layer, which is the Norfolk Southern 2008 signal definitions. The mask type is going to be a single head dwarf. So if we click down on the drop down box, you'll see down the bottom we have a single head, three colour, low light, low signal. So we click on that and you'll see what that's actually done is it's actually changed the available, available aspects that we have for that type of signal. Then we click on our signal heads and we look for our test mast, scroll down and click on that. And then we click create new. And then up the top here, we'll actually have our test mast up the top. And if we click down on the drop down box, it'll show you the aspects that we have available within that thing. Then what we need to do is every time that you add a signal head or you add a signal mast, we need to make sure that we store configuration and panels to file and save that. And then save it as panel that we'll be using and then click yes and that's it for that video on how to add signal heads and signal masks in both of those tables.